Electrify America test mode again here at Chicopee with these uh, new fourth generation stations which apparently uh, are having problems in the cold. Oh. So we're going to get ourselves plugged in and see if these stations are working in the cold here. We're at uh, 10 degrees Fahrenheit feels much lower, but uh, we'll record the temperatures as we go. And we're at the uh, first Electrify America site in Chicopee, Massachusetts. So let's get plugged in and see if these fail us as they have failed others. Let's go. Okay, we'll level set on some data. Um, did the session before in Auburn, which I can show in a little bit here. Don't wanna leave this too long because we'll start to get this uh, cooling, but it's in a much better place than it would be if it was at ambient temperature, which was starting closer to 20, 30 degrees Fahrenheit. But you can see we're cooling, so let's see if we can get plugged in. Everything here says online in the app and uh, on in terms of lit up, we'll walk around to see if they are indeed. Um, and we'll see what we get here. Okay, so we're starting up at this. This is a bit of a level set because we started on the station just behind this one. Older uh, Signet unit that we were using in uh, Auburn before this. So started on that and uh, Let's get the pack up to temperature and we'll see. Battery heater is going to work and the battery average is going to try and climb up right now. So once that starts ramping, we will uh, see what we can get out of these other stations. Okay, so we're on to pulling 73 kilowatts, but we are now using Charger 3 here. Uh, this is the new generation which uh, has served us fine in the past. Did have a uh, odd not plug in immediately, but uh, trying it again, it's up and running now. So we'll give this a couple of minutes because sometimes people report having a charge and then having it drop out, but that's uh, two for two so far. So you've got the pack heater now cranking up to 86 degrees Fahrenheit, battery average is climbing up, and the power rate, although not spectacular, is beginning to do its thing by getting away from that kind of 50, 60 kilowatt range to uh, into the 80s, and hopefully up into the higher levels by the end of this charge. As I say, I'm gonna wait till that ramps a little bit and we get the battery pack close to this uh, comfort zone of uh, the 70s Fahrenheit. And uh, when that happens, we'll switch stations and we'll verify that uh, the other ones here are working as well. But looks like he's all started as well. Yep getting back in this car because it's freezing cold. I'm glad he pulled in because now I can uh, only have to test the other one. Obviously the Bolt TV is only going to push it up to the 50, 55 kilowatt level. Eight minutes in to the charge. We know that three of these four stations are working at 10 degrees Fahrenheit here. Okay, so we're past 50% now in a fairly uh, decent spot, at least for the battery pack. For the humans, it's pretty cold out there, but uh, Average is at 76 degrees Fahrenheit. We're closing in on even the minimum being 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, battery heaters dropped down below 100 again here. So we're in a good place for the Ionic 5 to start doing some of its stuff here. And uh, it probably won't ramp too high, but I'm gonna unplug on this one and we'll see what it does in 18 minutes actually, then shut it off from the app. I think I can do it here. Yep. So I'll shut it off for 18 minutes, switch over to uh, Charger 1. As I say, the Bolt TV here is on Charger 2 and hasn't had the move at all. He's uh, been doing his session just fine. Still same low temperature, 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Battery pack will begin to cool again, so we wanna plug in. Uh, charger one here, you can see Bolt TV is still there. He's from Vermont, so he's familiar with the cold as well. And uh, he's getting his charge, no problem. The other two worked for us in the cold here, and we'll get plugged in to 
Charger 1 that's through the Android Auto side of the app. This is all updating as when things are available. Number 2 is in use as we saw, so we know he is working. We'll fire that one up. Start the charge. That will switch to plug in. Try and get a better starting charge right here as well. Let me go past 200. Might be asking a little bit much. 156 will do. And same verified there in the car. And you can use these new stations, at least the Signet ones, without issue in very chilly temperatures. If anyone wants to tell me that's warm, you can stand outside in it with uh, no gloves and <laughs> no coat on, see how that goes. But, you know, this is what it is. This is the test, this is the data point. All of them work, everything's fine. Drama? What drama? All right, so time to move on here. We'll stop that. This has just been me waffling at the camera. No problem there. 